Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we're gonna be looking at all the changes and features that are coming to iOS 14 in the fifth beta. This is the fifth developer beta, and we are going to jump right into it, taking a look at all the changes and features. So of course we have our two devices here. We have our device on the previous beta on the left and our device on the new beta on the right. This is running beta five. And as you can see on my screen, you can see one of the first features or the changes that are coming in beta five, and that is new privacy controls, more granular controls for widgets. So any widget that uses your location data, now there'll be a prompt anytime you access that widget to allow or don't allow that widget to use your location. So that's a new granular privacy setting when it comes to widgets. Keeping with that widgets theme, if we go ahead and go into our edit our home screen on the new beta and we go to the news beta or the news widget, you can see we have all these previous sizes. Uh, many of these have been here before, but we have this new, uh, what they call the tall size or extra large size, new for this widget. Now this widget cannot be added to the home screen this new larger size can only be added to the today view. And this size is not even available to developers. So developers cannot even create apps that are this large. This is going to be just specific to that new news widget here in developer beta five. If we go into either the App Store or iTunes and we go up to our Apple ID, you'll now notice before on my left one, it just had my name and my email address, which are obviously blurred out. On the new one, we have my name and email address as well as my Game Center ID and how many credits I have available just below that. So a little bit more information available to you here when looking at account information inside of the new beta. Moving along, if we jump into the clock app and we are editing something like an alarm, we can put in the time uh, manually, but there's also a new clock wheel so you can scroll this with your finger and precisely control the time. Very easy, it has a nice little click animation to it, has a little bit of taptic feedback as each of those numbers goes down. So a cool little animation there going along with that new clock wheel inside of the clock app. Now in the previous beta of iOS 14, Apple added the exposure notification option to the settings app of iOS 14. So before you could not get in there and control uh, exposure notifications, exposure notifications were not on iOS 14. Now they are, but this has a new option at the top to turn on exposure notifications. Before that was disabled, you could not do that. You still need an app to take advantage of this, but you can now turn that on within the settings app. And there's a new onboarding process to go along with it, where you basically choose your country or region, in my case, the US, and then jump down to old Columbus here. And then it'll give us uh, an option whether or not it's available in our area. And of course you need those third-party apps to take advantage of it, but you can now turn that on and onboard with this latest beta. So if we go into our photos app and we scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna notice under other albums, the hidden album is now gone. Well, it's actually not gone completely. If you go back into settings and we go back out of all of our uh, COVID-19 ex COVID exposure notification stuff and we head down to the photos option right here, there's a new option for hidden albums. You can turn this on and now when we go back to the photos app, you can see hidden albums. We have our hidden photos and that now shows there. So that album can be hidden from the photos app, but it will always show in the picker view whenever you're choosing photos to share uh, through some sort of third party sharing app. This one's pretty minor, but the calendar option, now when you are in dark mode, it has a lighter background and the text is a little bit larger. People have also reported that the notes widget also has a larger text. The shortcuts app, now has a new splash screen showing what's new, including shortcuts for watch, automation suggestions, starter shortcuts, and a new compact design. And we also heard that widgets are blocked when a parent app is blocked using screen time. Developers also have a new app clip testing option inside of settings. Now probably one of the most important ones for me, and that is when using AirPods. So in the last beta, beta four was just terribly buggy. And there was this option when you were making a phone call with your AirPods Pro or AirPods, uh, it would not connect the audio. So now that has been fixed inside of the latest beta, if you were making a phone call with AirPods in your ear, audio will now come through and you can actually take those phone calls. So huge bug kind of fixed uh, for AirPods user in beta five. 
So that is it. That is what we found so far. Quite a few changes from your Apple ID, new widget settings, new clock stuff. There's just a lot of stuff going on here in the fifth beta of iOS 14. But of course, this is a non-exhaustive list. So if you found things that we did not cover here, please let us know over on Twitter and we will be sure to update the added text. If you go down to the description, there is linked text there where you can follow that and see our updated list of all the changes that we have discovered so far and we'll credit you if you find anything else. Otherwise, check us out in the next video.